Phase five has come and gone, but let's not forget those highly anticipated hunts that didn't make the cut for 13. A front has ushered in and both Mark and Terry look to capitalize on that overcast weather. Right here, right now, on this week's edition of 13's Cutting Room Floor. has finally let up and Mark and Wade are headed into a freshly cut cornfield to open up phase five. With the PSC in hand and the muddy ground blind in view, the stage is set for a great evening in Iowa. Here we go, we're going in just a touch early today. Deer cast says great, I think it's gonna be great. We're going into a big cut cord field. Now that it's been cut, we've got a big green field there and of course there's you know corn residue that's still out there. So what a great way to open phase five. How about it, Wayne? I love it. I love it.
Well, you know, Mark and I get to the point when we have uh, an implement on the farm or we have a truck there on the farm, we're going to use it and we're going to put them, you know, to use on a daily basis and we're going to use it to the nth degree. We've been using it for several years now, and I'll tell you what, we put it through the paces and have had great luck with them on a daily basis. Well, here we are, phase five. And we're doing everything right that we know how. We're extending our AM and our PM sits. We're checking cameras. You know, we're uh, hunting all of our best spots. You know, all the tactics we can employ, we're trying to, we're trying to implement those. And we still haven't killed a deer, but maybe tonight's the night. We got a, a north wind, got a pretty good front that's been in on us all day today. We had rain, so hopefully if this front clears through, maybe we'll see a bunch of deer up on their feet. So we're gonna rush and get the blind. made it in and I always like to say you know without any events well we did that we got in here without running any deer out hopefully that sun will peak out if that's the case we're gonna see a lot of deer on their feet They're not getting far from that timber, are they? All those deer went back in, right? They did, right? Yeah. Ate a little bit and went back to bed. We're seeing a few small bucks and we're seeing a few does. They're all juiced up the wind. We've got 20, 25 mile an hour winds and it's got them running around, but they're not getting very far from the timber. At any rate, we're here. We're just waiting. That's a pretty good buck, isn't it? Yeah, he's by that cedar there. He's 140 inch eight, ain't he? 145. Well, I was thinking. Going the other way. That's a good looking deer. Well, we finally saw a, a decent shooter, decent buck. Uh, you know, he's 140 inch eight point, I would guess, but he's a nice deer. He's big and tall. MRI, we watched him walk right down towards that other block, blind, that other box. Two evenings in a row, we've seen two pretty good bucks right here at dark. So having seen that tonight, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching this highly anticipated episode of 13's Cutting Room Floor. And be sure to grab those lawn chairs because next week it's the buck parade. You're gonna wanna sit down and take a look.